Hello all. Happy Monday. I hope you had a good weekend. It is time for our Monday installment of Daily LA. Please grab your pencil, eraser, your duotang, and I will see you in a minute. I'm switching over to the document camera. Alrighty, let's take a look at number one and two, which are correcting the sentences. Shannon done the cooking and cleaning while her mother was ill. You should all know that there's something that the beginning of the sentence needs and because it's a name as well. And is this the correct form of the word, the verb do? As well, something's missing here, cooking and cleaning. And the end of your sentence will also need something. Number two, those is Pete's favorite music tape. So, beginning of the sentence needs something, and then make sure this is the proper use of this is verb. And Pete, this is a name, so what do you do to a name? And as well, something is belonging to Pete, so we need to show ownership by inserting something between the E and the S. This is the American spelling of the word favorite. Please make sure you spell it the Canadian way. It should have a letter between the O and the R and what should be at the end of every sentence. Some sort of punctuation, you figure out what it should be. Number three, circle the adverb in this sentence. We are going fishing tomorrow. Now, if you can't remember what an adverb is, grab your flip book, but there's pretty big hints. A verb is your root word. An adverb adds to the verb. It tells more about it. So if you can figure out your verb, in your sentence, this word will tell you when or where this verb will be happening. So which one of these words is your adverb, giving more information about the verb? Number four, choose the best word to complete this sentence. Do you know, this is a Spanish name, Juan, very, hmm, is it good? Is it long? Is it well? Or is it none of those choices? Choose A, B, C, or D based on which is grammatically correct. And the last question, divide the word generous into syllables. Now remember, gener uh, syllables have a sounded vowel between in every syllable. So when you divide it up, you should be able to hear a vowel in each section of your word. So you can divide it on the line using lines or spaces. Get that done and come back. So pause your video while you're working on that. Alrighty guys and ladies, let's take a look at our answers. Number one, uh, Shannon did the cooking and cleaning while her mother was ill. So Shannon should have been capitalized, done should have been changed to did. Uh, the word and should have been changed to and and you should have inserted a period at the end. Hopefully got all those. Number two, those with a capital R instead of is because it's plural. Pete with a capital and an apostrophe to show possession because those tapes belong to Pete. Favorite with an, a U in it for the Canadian spelling and a period at the end. Number three, the adverb is tomorrow. The verb being going. And actually you have a verb phrase. Are going, fishing is your whole verb phrase. And tomorrow tells you when you are going to do this. So you actually have three words working as verbs and one as your adverb. Well should be the word that completes number four. Do you know one very well. And number five, you would separate generous into syllables, gen, er, us. So sounded vowel, e, sounded vowel, e, gen, er, o, u, s is your last syllable there. So that is your Monday's Daily LA. Talk to you later, guys and ladies.